My name is Jersey Joel. I've lived in New Jersey my entire life. I love fishing and the outdoors. I love catching big fish, small fish, and multi-species. New Jersey offers a great variety of fishing for all types of anglers. With the many lakes, ponds, rivers, streams, creeks, reservoirs, and the Atlantic Ocean not far away, the sky is the limit when it comes to New Jersey fishing. If you love fishing and the outdoors and nature as much as I do, then subscribe to my channel and come along with me on my fishing adventures. I hope you enjoy the ride. What's up guys, Jersey Joel Fishing here. Hope everyone has a great day today. The date is March 27th, 2024. It's been cold and windy this week. The bite's been tough. I went out a couple of times. I bounced around to a couple different ponds and I threw a variety of baits. I didn't get anything. I'm gonna try again this morning. I may even get some live shiners since the bite is so tough and see if I can get something. It's been a really tough bite the last two or three days with this cold and windy weather and we have a lot more rain coming. So let me head over to the bait shop, and then I'm going to head over to one of my other ponds I haven't fished this week, and we'll see if they're biting on the live shiners. I'm also going to throw a Ned Rig, maybe a crankbait, even though the conditions are tough. Hopefully I can salvage this week and catch some fish. Let me get in the car and head over there, and I'll talk to you guys when I get there. All right, I am at the pond. It's very, very cold and very windy. 25 degrees. We had heavy rain all day yesterday gonna throw some live shiners that might be my only prayer to catch a fish this morning in these conditions it's brutal out here we'll see what happens all right let's get right to it guys here we go first cast anything will hit a live shiner the conditions are very very tough like I said so we'll see what happens I might try that corner over there. Looks like there's less wind. All right, here we go. Definitely better on this side with the wind at my back, 100%. Come on, let me get something. Five minutes later. Getting a bite. Had a bite. 100% had a bite, got off. Hundred percent had a bite. The bobber was gone. My line went out straight. Definitely had a fish take it. He let go of it. All right, that's a good sign. Let's see if it bites again. Whatever it was. One minute thirty-seven seconds later. Got one. Yes, I knew it. Holy cow! It's a big crappie, guys! Yes! Slab City! Look at this! All right! Got one! Big one, too! Yes! My first black crappie of the year, and it's a big one. Awesome! 
What an awesome black crappie, guys. Nice and big. Yes. Think I'm gonna take this guy home and cook him up. Crappie are delicious. I have never done a crappie catch and cook. I think it is time. Perfect size. And maybe I'll get a couple more as well. Yes. All right. Gonna take this crappie home and cook them. Let's see if we can get some more. I'm glad I went over to this side. I had a feeling my chances would be a lot better of getting a fish and handling these conditions on this side. And I was right. There's got to be a few hungry ones over here. I only casted it out maybe 20 yards from the bank, right over here. It gets a little bit deeper. We'll see what happens. A few minutes later. Got another one, guys. Nice bass. Yes. Beautiful, healthy bass. I switched corners. I came back where I started by the car. He slammed it. Real good looking bass, guys. All right, I'll show you guys the release. Awesome. I'll see you later, buddy. There he goes. See you, bud. All right, two fish, two species here. Been here about an hour and a half. Let's keep fishing. See if we can get fish number three. That was a nice fish. Got one. Oh, he got off. That was a nice fish. That was a nice fish, guys. I think it was a big bass. He got off. Ah, I lost another one. And he took the whole bait. Darn it. The next day. What's up, guys? I am back, not as cold this morning. It's like 42 degrees right now, although it is gonna rain. I still have some shiners left, so I wanna take a few more casts and use up the rest of the live shiners and see if we can get some more fish. Caught a huge black crappie, a nice largemouth bass on the live shiners over here and lost a few more fish, including a couple big ones. And hopefully we can get some more this morning before the rain comes. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. First cast. Let's see if a big one smashes it. Even though this pond is small, it does have some big fish in it. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to get a fish. Ten seconds later. Got one. First cast, what is this? It's a bass. All right, first cast. Got a bass, not a big one, but that's okay. It's a fish. Nice little bass. Very first cast, guys. About 10, 12 feet from the bank. Nice. All right, little bass. I'll see you later. Good little fish. There he goes. See you, buddy. All right, that didn't take long. 
Very first cast. Let's keep fishing and see if we can get another one. These fish move around from corner to corner at this pond. I did cook up that crappie that I caught the other day. I fried them up. I made little like popcorn nuggets, like popcorn chicken, but popcorn crappie came out really good. I'll show you guys that footage near the end of this video. Crappy tastes very, very good, especially when the water's cold. Getting a bite. Hopefully I can land it. 10 seconds later. Got him. Nice one. I think it's a bass. Nice bass. All right. That's decent, not huge, but decent. I'll take it. Didn't catch any more crappie. That's what I was targeting, but I'll take bass any day. Good little fight, nice belly on them. All right, two bass this morning. I think I have two shiners left, that's it. Not a bad little bass. I think I'm gonna do an underwater release of this guy. This water is pretty clear here. We'll see how it comes out. Hopefully he doesn't swim out of frame. They do that sometimes. Good little fish. Gonna release him over here. This looks like a good spot. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. There he goes. See you, bud. Guys, that's gonna be a wrap for this video. It was cold and windy, and it was a very tough and challenging past couple days of fishing. I bounced around to a couple of ponds, I threw a variety of baits, and I wasn't getting any bites, so I had to resort to live shiners. When it's really cold and windy, these fish get real stubborn, they get real finicky with what they wanna bite on. No fish can resist live shiners. I wanted to catch some fish. I ended up catching some nice largemouth bass and a huge slab black crappie, which I took home and cooked them up. I made the little popcorn black crappie nuggets. It was delicious. The black crappie tastes a lot better this time of year when the water's cold. And like I said, it was a challenging and tough past couple days of fishing, but I did catch some fish. It was a nice catch and cook. The temperatures should warm up next week. And then the opening day of trout season for the spring will be coming April 6th. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna get on some spring trout and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in the next one. Have a good one, guys.